means it. Amen. 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 Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together. Believing the word of God to be taught with power of the Holy Spirit. Power to heal. Power to bless. Power to protect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, I want to just say this before we go through the word of God. You know, there are some people... I've heard some when they say that, you know, um, sometimes you find that when the scriptures are read, you know the scripture already. You have heard the scripture already. Sometimes you have heard that scripture already, not once, over and over again. Sometimes a similar message has been given already, over and over again. And some people say that, no, I know the verse. I know the scriptures. Why do I need to read the Bible again? Why do I need to to listen to that word again? If I have listened to it, if I have read the word of God. I want to tell you this. We study the Bible. We study the Bible and we listen to the word of God. For a different reason. When you are studying the word of God and uh, listen to the word of God, it is not as if I'm studying um, the book of mathematics. It's not as if I'm studying the book of mathematics, geography, biology, or any other, or reading a, a textbook, or reading a novel. I'm sure those who read a novel, they don't read it and read it over again. They read it once and say, ah, this book, I know what it talks about. I know the story. And they close it. But it is not so with the word of God. It is, we are not studying the word of God like that. We study the word of God to live. We study the word of God to live. That means we need the word of God to live. To live by it. That's what the Bible says that in the book of Matthew chapter 4. For example, um, verse number 4, Jesus answered, It is written, Men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Bible says that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Okay. Let's say you are studying the book of geography or any other text or mathematics in that matter or any other topic in, uh, of life, of your career, project management, whatever it is that you are studying. You are, you are studying that word of God, uh, not that it's not the word of God, that text for a different purpose. You are not studying that text to live by it. Then the Bible says that we study the word of God because we live by it. Men shall not live by by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then part of studying the word of God, it is to live by it because the word of God is a food to your spirit. It's a food to your spirit. It is not compared with any topic of this world. Whether it's a novel, whether it's an academic book, whether it is not the word of God, it is not compared to any other novel. You know, there are those who watch movies. When you watch a movie, You can watch that movie twice and say, I don't want to watch it again because I know what it's all about. After that, you want to watch a new movie. But the word of God, you don't listen to it like that. You are not listening to it as a story. You are 
You are listening to it to live by it. As the Bible said that men shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that come from the mouth of God. Then if you want to compare the word of God with something, you may compare it with the food that you eat. How can you compare it with the food that you eat? The food that you eat. For example, ever since you were born, let's say you begin to eat pap or you eat bread. Can you say that, you know, I've been eating bread for all these years, uh, therefore I no longer eat bread? You don't do it like that. The same bread, the same meat, the same food that you have been eating over and over again, over years, you still eat it. Sometimes it has become part of your diet. You just know that breakfast, in breakfast there must be eggs because, but even though you have eaten eggs thousand times, why don't you say that, no, I've been eating eggs, I've been eating bread, I no more, I no longer eat the, the bread and eggs. Then you compare the word of God with the, with the, with the food that you eat. With the food that you eat, as a food that you eat, that means it has become part of your diet. The body feed by food with food, but as a you as a child of the living God, as a Christian, you are not just a body; you are a spiritual person. As a spiritual person, you feed by spiritual food. And part of the spiritual food is the word of God. Amen. Then you are eating the word of God to feed your spiritual persona. As the Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The word of God is the food of your spirit. And the Bible says that in the book of Romans chapter 10, verse number 17. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. Then that means in the Bible says that 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse number 17. Um, chapter 5, verse number 7. We live by faith, not by sight. I want you to get this. The Bible is not saying that we live by faith, not by sight. Natural person. It's talking about a spiritual person whom you have become. You live by faith, not by sight. Then in order to have faith, you get that faith from the word of God. That word of God gives you faith in order to live as a child of God. Amen. Then it depends whether you want to live like a natural person or you want to live like a spiritual person. Then if you want to live like a spiritual person because you are a spiritual person, you will, you will need to constantly look, listen, Study the word of God. Amen. You, you, hey, Barakian Chefradia Suprakatiase. Amen. I want you to get this. I want you to understand this. As a child of God, you must live in scriptures. Amen. You must live in the Amen. word of God. Amen. The word of God must become a reality. I want to tell you this. There are things that are happening around us. There are things that are happening around us. But there is uh, things that are happening around us and there is a season of, of time, time which we are living in. But as a child of God, we must not be living in this outward time. We must be living in the scriptural, in the script, in the scripts, Amen. the scripture, the word of God must be the reality in your life. Amen. Amen. I want you to get it. 
the word of God must become a reality in your life in such a way that what is happening around you, it must be not real. As we have got the characters of the word, there is the things that the word of God talks about. That must become your reality. Amen. Amen. You must be living in scriptures. Not believing in the reality of today. Amen. Because I want to tell you this. Who is orchestrating the realities of today? Who is orchestrating the reality of today? The Bible talks about that the devil is a god of this world. Sometimes what is happening around here, out there in the world, it is what the devil is doing. And then if as if us as Christians we end up living on the reality of today, sometimes we are now living if we end up doing that, living the reality of today, we end up being influenced by the enemy. But no, we Amen. must live in scriptures. Amen. The scripture, what the word of God talks about must become a reality in your life. Amen. That must be what you believe. Amen. And that's what must be must be what you influence your surrounding and your horizon through. Amen. Influence your horizon through your, your reality of the scriptures. Your reality of the word. I want, to, I, want to, I want you to understand this. As children of the living God, we don't, we must never live outside in, but inside out. Amen. Then that means, what do you eat? What do you eat? You, do you eat pap and flakes? Do you eat meat? What do you eat? What do you feed on? Do you feed on what is happening around you? You feed yourself in the word until you believe. And the word, the word of God talks about it becomes a reality. First of all, Amen. in your mind, in your spirit, in your faith, what the word of God talks about must be a reality. Amen. And you believe that. Amen. And after that, Hey, by your faith, you radiate what you believe outside. Amen. And you influence your horizon. And you influence your surrounding. You influence your family. You influence your country. You influence your career. You influence your finances. You influence your health. You influence your everything. Based on what you have received from the word, from God. We live inside out, not outside in. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We must Amen. live inside out. And what must be inside of you? What must be inside of you must be the scriptures. Yes, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the God is living in you. That is true. The Spirit of God is living in you. But after that, you feed in your inside, your mind, your thoughts by the word. Amen. After feeding them by the word, you radiate and you control everything in, in your surrounding by your faith that you have received from the word of God. Amen. That's Amen. what must happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then we are not studying the word of God like uh, we are studying some of us mechanical engineering. Whatever career that you are in. No, we study that to take the, you know, to to take the principle of those in order to apply to this field of our work. But that's it. But we focus in the word. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. 
but we focus in the word until our life directly or indirectly becomes the word of God manifest until we become the living bible the walking bible i don't know whether you are hearing what i'm saying amen you must amen. become a living bible you know they they there's a bible vision which is called nlt new living translation i want to tell you nlt of today is not that book NLT of today it is you who is the child of God filled of the holy ghost filled of the word practicing the word of God today and you become new living new living translation amen hallelujah amen. we ought to become the new living translation of today the word of god manifest in 2022 we have talked a bit about it few years ago we had when we were telling you how was the bible written how was the bible written let us talk about the new testament the beginning you know when you talk about the new testament how it was written first of all how the bible was written when jesus christ who was born of the holy ghost jesus christ who was the son of the holy ghost as the bible say that when the angel gabriel came to mary said the power of the most high shall overshadow thee and so that that she who shall be born shall be called the child of the living god he was born of the holy spirit And the Bible said the Holy Ghost came to him upon him like a dove in Jordan. And after that he he and the Bible said that in the book of Acts chapter 10 verse number 38 how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. That's me the Bible said that Jesus Christ was full of the Holy Ghost. As he was full of the Holy Ghost, he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil. But I want you to tell, I want you to understand this. Then when Jesus Christ, full of the Holy Ghost, what he spoke was the word. That is many things which are written in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. When Jesus Christ, full of the Holy Ghost, when he walked when he acted whatever he did it inspired of the holy spirit was the word it is what is written in the book of matthew mark luke and john inspired of the holy amen. spirit amen and again when the lord jesus christ was about to go acts chapter 1 verse number 8 the bible says that You shall receive the power when the Holy Ghost comes upon you and you will be my witness. Acts chapter 2 the Holy Ghost came and they were filled of the Holy Ghost in the upper room. But after that those disciples of Jesus Christ they now filled of the Holy Ghost whatever they spoke was the word of God. Whatever they acted was the word of God. When they were inspired of the Holy Spirit that's what we talk about in the book of Acts of apostle which did not end it is being continued today through the new living translation which is you you and i filled of the holy ghost in 2022 know that you are the new living translation don't look okay. down on yourself and you think that you are a nobody you are not just a nobody you are somebody who's filled of the holy spirit who the word of god is being manifested today because Amen. are you filled of the holy spirit that's the question are you filled of the holy spirit are you led by the holy spirit 
It's just that if, you know, if you are filled of the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit, then your life is the word of God manifest. When you are Amen. being led of the Holy Spirit, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. But I want to I tell you something. The Bible does not only focus on the portion where men and women of God when they acted and spoke filled of the Holy Spirit. The Bible also talks about when they were tempted of the devil. Like when you hear Jesus Christ being tempted, yes, filled of the Holy Ghost, tempted by the devil. The Bible also talks even on the Old Testament when they were they were they were misled of the of, of the devil. Misled by the demon. Also Peter. The Bible say that. Peter say that. Jesus. Portion of the Bible. That you're not going to be crucified. What did Jesus say? Jesus said. Peter. Why are you saying something like that? Devil. Get behind me Satan. That means it was the time that Peter. Was being led by the devil. Then that means. Either both. That's what the Bible covered. But I'm trying to say to you, your life is the word of God manifest. And the scriptures Amen. as a child of God can be written about you. I don't know whether you are Amen. hearing what I'm saying. Amen. How much are we allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us? To control us? If every time you allow the Holy Spirit... To lead you, to take over you, to speak through you, to act through you. Hey, you are you you are life, and what you speak is writable and is readable, and can inspire somebody Amen. and lead somebody to Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that in the book of Matthew, chapter 5. The Bible says that, verse number 14, You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. You know, the Bible says that part of your life, a part of who we are, we are the light of the world. As the light of the world, when Christ is in you through the Holy Spirit, when the Word of God is in you through meditation, as you are acting out that word, as you are allowing to be led by the Holy Spirit, you are the light of the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the light Amen. of the world. It's just that every day you have got a chance. God is not forcing each and every one of us to what you do. You have got a chance to choose to be led by the Spirit of God. Amen. To be led by the Spirit of God to speak, to be led to by the Spirit of God to act every day. Then when God has given us that chance, we must allow the Holy Spirit to take over us. Hallelujah. Amen. We Amen. must allow the Holy Spirit to take over us, to lead us. Amen. To speak, to lead us, to act, so that Amen. we may be a perfect light that represents Jesus Christ in our days. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But yes, we're talking about as the children of the living God that we are, you know, as a child of the living God, that we need, uh, as we are studying this word of God, part of it that you are doing, you are meditating. I want to tell you something about meditating. 
there is a difference between studying and meditating. Studying. You know, you may study to write a test. You may study, you write a test and you write a test and you pass. Most of the time when you pass, in academics, you pass <laughs> and you pass. Most of the time, the books that you have studied, you no longer go through them. If I ask those who are academics who have gone through to schools, when was the last time you opened the book of your metric, you realize it's a long time ago. You're grade 10, you're grade 9, form 5, long time ago. Sometimes the things that you memorize and you pass, you don't remember at all because you have never opened them again because you were studying. And you studied and you pass and you pass and you pass and close. But you know, the word of God, it is not studied. We are not studying it to pass. We are studying it to live by. That's why the word of God, we don't study and pass. We study to meditate. That's what the Bible says that in the book of Joshua, Joshua chapter 1. The Bible says that Ari Kriaso Fradeaso Prakadiaso, verse number eight. Amen. Amen. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. I want you to understand that, to underline that part. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. The Bible did not say, okay, study it, get there. Get what Moses have written, study it, know it. That's it. Memorize. No. Okay, but so that you can understand what you what you what you're talking about, you will read also verse number seven. Be strong and be very courageous, and be careful to obey all the law my servants gave you. Then the Bible said that, God said that, be careful to obey all the law. That's why now you have to study it, you have to meditate upon it carefully. And do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. And keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. I want you to, we have talked a bit about it in the time past, that when God was talking to Joshua, there was no Genesis to Revelation. There was only few books. You can say that there was five books of Torah. Only when the Bible was saying, when God was saying that uh, meditate upon it day and night, that means, you know, the Bible is saying here, uh, meditate on it day and night. This, for the rest of their life, these five books, because they had only five books. But the grace of God, they have a lot of revelation that have been revealed through the life of others, through the ministration of the Spirit of God, through the life of others, through the actions of others, through the words of others. Then you have got Lord, you have got Genesis to Revelations. But the Bible says that meditate upon it day and night. That means, I want to tell you this. We have got the Bible, which is written word today, which is Logos. We have got Genesis to Revelation. And it is not going to change. I want you to get that. I want you to understand that. Because some people, they will say that, what are you talking about? Are you talking about Genesis? I've read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I've heard the word of God from Genesis to Revelation. I'm done. I've, I've seen the clip of a certain man. Today he said that I'm no longer going to church. He's giving his, he's giving his reasons. You know, there was, when I went to church, every, I end up knowing all the scriptures good. But I end up knowing all the verses which I even know when the pastor was going to open this one. <sighs> That's not how we are studying the word of God. To meditate on it. And I want to tell you something. There's something that happens in meditation. In meditation, 
when you the more you meditate on it over and over again the more you get new revelation the same verse that's how because remember okay that's why i wanted to get this i wanted to get this very carefully the word of god is different from any book in the world the bible is different from any book in the world any novel in the world because somebody might have written that novel somebody must might have written that textbook whatever it is but there is nothing behind it but when you talk about the word of god the bible the god of the bible is real and is behind each and every word then when you are studying the word of god and when you are meditating upon the word of god hey he <laughs> that he make sure that out of the word he comes out of it and he talks to you out of the word that's what the bible say that the word of god is sharper and active and is alive it's alive Amen. that word is alive the, the more you meditate on it the more he talks to you and the more he talks to you the more you meditate i'm not talking about different things the more you meditate the more he gives you a new revelation meditation brings revelation Amen. then we are studying the word of god for god to talk to us then the more you you meditate on it day and night more and more and more the better the better because the more you meditate as if you are having a deeper connection with the author with the owner of the word the more you say that you have studied it once you have not you don't have enough connection with the author of the word the deeper the more you meditate the more co- connected you are with the author then you must end up knowing better than your back of your hand this word of god then you know that's how it must be you must enjoy knowing it i don't know whether you are hearing what i'm saying amen enjoy knowing the word of god enjoy it knowing the word of god you know there's something that i i've learned industry wise and this is the principles of 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 life i've realized you know amen. you know when i when i was appointed as an engineer for this other plant you go there and they say that this is your this is the whole of this plant is yours this equipment are all yours everyone reports to you and everything like that good but <laughs> it doesn't mean that when you go to that plant the first day you know the whole of it no but the more you go there every day The more you walk that place every day the more you know the place and you know what is happening that's it Not new pl- but if I go to 1 plus 100 I will never know them And the beauty of it is when you begin to know all the corners so it must be in the word of God You must know the corners of the word of God I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying Amen. And you must be proud of it that you know the word If there's anything in the word that you don't know it, you, it must not sit well with you that there is something that you don't know in the Bible We ought to know it because this word of God was given to you God revealing himself to you anyway because of time begin to pray wherever you are asking God I want to know you more I want to connect with you more. Ari brozandia sobrada sakiato. Andia sobradia son takiado baza. Anda la kayato lo brodia santa raba. Ara kayanto lo broda santa kiado bazanda la kayadi. 
Arakiando Lokoshian Daraba Andala Bazon Takapa Son Taraba Ereba Son Tokoria Bababa Akiato Zavradia Seketeleba Arakanto Kolobosian Dalaba Arando Zantela Katia Son Talaba Arandia son talakashon tolobo Arakayan tolobo dia zavradia se Arakia telekeshianda laba We wanna know you Lord We wanna know you more Holy Spirit help us to know you Lord To know the Lord more To stay in the word more to know the word more O Randia Soprada Santia Kappa Sotalaba and Kintia Sofrata Satia Kalaba E Kriato Sapradia Sontalaba Arandia Sontolobo Janda Laba Mandalaba Zongolobo Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Fire, 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 I command them to the Abbey. I command them to the abbey. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. In my career. In my career. In our country. In our country. In every sector of my life. Every sector of my life. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. I command them. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come out. Come out. I command them to the abbey. I command them to the abbey. I command them to the abbey. Say I command. I command. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around. Everything to turn around for my good. Say everything. Everything. Turn around. Turn around. For my good. For my good. So let there be progress. Let there be progress. 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 In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Every sector of my life. So let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say every job I need. Every job I need. Every business I need. Every business I need. Every car I need. Every car I need. Every house I need. Every house I need. Every blessing I need. Every blessing I need. Every connection I need. Every connection I need. Any person I need. Any person I need. Any person I need. I command them to come. I command them to come. 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 Say I receive them. I receive them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. To that person you are not feeling well, I say you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I say you are healed Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I say every problem which was troubling you, I say it is solved. Amen. I say they are solved. Amen. They are solved. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sin. Bless me today. Protect me from today. From today. I am born again. I am saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is also.